Welcome to Real Recap. Today we are recapping the hilarious comedy movie, We're the Millers. Let's dive in. The movie revolves around a low-level marijuana dealer named David Clark, who is forced by his drug supplier, Brad Girdlinger, to smuggle marijuana from Mexico to clear his debt. David realizes that he can't cross the border alone, so he hires a fake family consisting of his stripper neighbor, Rose, a runaway named Casey, and his awkward neighbor, Kenny, to pose as the Millers. When the Millers reach the compound, they discover that they have to pick up two tons of marijuana, which is much more than they anticipated. On their way back, they are stopped by a police officer who suspects them of carrying drugs, but David pays him a bribe and they get away. However, their troubles don't end there. Due to the extra weight of the marijuana on the RV, one of the radiator hoses breaks down. The Millers encounter a family called the Fitzgeralds who help them tow their RV to a repair shop. However, things take an unexpected turn when David learns that Don Fitzgerald is a DEA agent. As if that wasn't enough, Girdlinger misled David about his plan to steal the marijuana from cartel boss Pablo Chacon. The Millers are caught between a rock and a hard place when they are confronted by Chacon and his henchman, One-Eye. To make matters worse, Kenny gets bitten by Adarantula and has a severe allergic reaction. The Millers rush him to the hospital, which further delays the delivery of the drugs. After some negotiation, David manages to strike a deal with Girdlinger for a fee of $500,000, but his companions are disgusted when they find out how little he offered to pay them. David leaves them at a local carnival, but soon regrets his decision and returns to beg them to come back with him. They agree to do so, and they all head back to the RV. However, they are discovered by One-Eye, who is about to shoot them when Don Fitzgerald comes to the rescue. Chacon then holds Melissa, the runaway at gunpoint, but David and Kenny manage to subdue him. DEA agents eventually arrest Girdlinger, and Don tells David that he has to stay in witness protection until the trial. The Millers are then seen living happily together as a found family, with marijuana plants growing in their backyard. And that's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed this exciting and informative recap of We're the Millers on Real Recap. Don't forget to like, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting movie recaps.